Hello, my name is Harvey Poling for Video Editing Simplified, and today we're going to talk about Movie Studio. And a feature that I think probably a lot of us don't use very much, it's called Takes. Uh, it's really a multiple take type uh, decision maker, and it's designed to help us out when we have uh, two or three different ideas and we want to bounce them off and we don't really know which one we want to use. This is a quick way to try each one of them out. For instance, if I'm doing a commercial or a promo and I've recorded three voiceovers, which one do I want to use? Well, using the takes is a quick way to find out which one works best with it. So let's try it out. I have a little promo here about a beach scene. And I have three different takes up here that I have loaded in my project bin. I have simply left-clicked and dragged them into it. I have three different ones. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select each one with the control key down. So I'm going to left click each one with the control key down. And then this is very important. I'm going to right click and drag this time. It's not a left click and drag like we usually do. It's a right click drag. And then I'm going to choose add as takes. And you notice what has happened. They've taken all three of these uh, audio files and layered them on top of each other. Now I can listen to each one and decide the take that I want to have. I'm going to press play and listen to it. Don't you wish every day was a warm, lazy summer afternoon? There's nothing like the beach to put everything back into harmony. And after I've listened to the first take, I'm going to right click on the audio track and go to take and then go to next take. And that's going to be the next one in line. And then I'm going to play that one and listen to it. Don't you just wish every day was a warm, lazy summer afternoon? There's nothing like the beach to put everything back into harmony. And once I'm done with that, since I have one left, I'm going to do the same. Right click and go to take and go to next take. Don't you wish just every day was a warm, lazy summer afternoon? There's nothing like the beach to put everything back into harmony. Once I find a take that I like, I can right click now and uh, go to take and then choose the active take. Uh, if that's the one you want, or you could go back, you could go forward again. Once you find it, choose active right there. And that's going to list the name of the one that you just have right here. And you're going to choose that. And once again, you can listen to it to make sure it's the one that you uh, wanted in the first place. So once you go OK, now this take is active. And then when you render your video, it's going to use this audio file. Now you can do the same thing for videos as well. If you're not sure about a particular scene, which one you want to use, you could layer the scenes on top of each other and choose the take function, keep playing, and use the next take and the next take until you find a suitable uh, type of video that you want to use. This is just one extra little thing that you can do. Now you can, of course, also uh, record using the interface here in uh, Movie Studio itself, arm it and record it, and uh, use these as takes because each time you record, it's going to place it in your project bin here and then you can do the uh, method that I outlined to use all those as takes. Just a little hint to maybe make your production just a little bit easier for you by using takes in Movie Studio.